In this clip, we'll create some copper coils to go inside our motor. So if we take a look at our reference, you can see here are the coils that we're going to be creating. They're populated around the inside here. Now two things we need to happen. We need to make an interior of this cylinder, and then we need to have a, an inner cylinder as well for these to wrap around. So for the interior of the cylinder, we've already extruded in this top edge. So rather than just extruding the edge out, I'm going to bring this in a little bit. And then I'm going to extrude that edge again. Hit our little blue button here, and I'm just going to pull it straight down in the Y. Okay, now this bottom part is going to be covered up, but just in case, I'm going to repeat that again, click on our little handle again, and I'm just going to scale it down just so that there's no light coming through if we happen to be able to see through there. I want to create another cylinder, and this is going to be our interior cylinder that these um, they are going to be wrapped around. And so we can actually, if we don't want to smooth them, we can actually set the resolution a little bit higher. And let's come in and add an edge loop right in here so it tightens up the top there. So we have this inner cylinder. Let's reduce the radius just a hair, I think. And then we want our coils to be coiled around it. So let's build one coil, and then we'll look at duplicating it. So let's bring in another cylinder. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees in the Z direction. And then I'm going to take the radius down to something a little bit closer to the coil size that we want. Okay, the height we want to be smaller. I'm going to use this as kind of a guide because the coil itself is going to be made of some other shapes. So I'll take the height down a little bit more. Not that much. So something more like that. Let's pull it up here. Okay. Now I want to add the, the coils themselves. So for those, we can use a torus. Let's grab a torus. And rather than smoothing a torus or creating a smooth torus, let's actually use a NURBS torus. So let's go to Create, NURBS Primitive, and we'll just bring in a NURBS torus. Let's rotate it 90 degrees in the Z, so it's going to go along that cylinder there. And then obviously it needs to be a little bit smaller, so we're going to come in just like if we do a polygon, come into the inputs for the Make NURBS torus, and let's take the radius down for that a little bit. Okay, now if we want to make it thinner, that's going to be the height ratio. So we can come in here and set this to a lower number, and that'll make that a little bit thinner. Let's come in from the side here. And I just want to make sure that this is matches up with the center. Okay, now let's duplicate it. So Control D to duplicate. And I'm just moving it to create a series of coils here. Okay. Now there is, on the coil, there is like a, a cap, an end cap that comes out. So let me add one more coil, and then we'll create that cap. So for that cap, let's grab those polygons on the end. You can go into wireframe if you can't see what's happening. So I've selected the cap, and I'll just control drag across this, and now I've got the cap selected. Extrude. There we go. Extrude that out. Now we're going to select these polygons. So click, shift, double click to select those. Extrude, and I'm just going to grab the blue handle and pull them out. So something like that. All right. Now this is going to be one of our coils. So let's select all of these. So select this, shift click on all of the other ones. There we go. 
And I wanna actually group these together. So control G will allow me to create a group that contains all of these and we'll call this coil. If we jump into our outliner, we can see the coil group that we have here. Since we're gonna be duplicating these, we can start to name things a little bit better. So if we select all of these, sometimes you don't really need to be very specific about your name. Sometimes all you need to do is be unique. And so uh, we can come in here and uh, name this very quickly by coming up to our status bar here. There's a little arrow right next to, it's right under cache on mine, under Arnold. We'll expand that. If I click on this little box, I can change this to rename. And here I can just put in something like coil underscore, and it'll add a number to those. So we've got coil, then coil one, two, three, four, and so forth. Now the group pivot, because we're building this at the origin, the group pivot, once we grouped it, is actually at the origin, which in this case, because we built it at the origin, is at the center of our motor. So if we were to duplicate this, control D and go to rotate, you can see we can kind of move this around. So the way that it's built right now, with the size that it's built, it's about 50 degrees. So you can see if we move that, it's about 50 or so degrees. If you want them to be overlapping a little bit more, you could do something like 30 degrees or we could do 36 degrees, which I think will work fine. They're overlapping a little bit, but that's okay. Makes it look a little bit tighter in there. So knowing that, we can now use our duplicate special. So just selected a part of this group and hit the up arrow to select the coil, the whole entire coil. Again, the pivot is at the origin. Let's go to duplicate special. Okay, let's reset everything. And so what we wanna do is, these are all fine, we wanna rotate it in the Y direction, which is this box right here, and we wanna rot rotate it 36 degrees. So every copy is gonna be rotated 36 degrees. Now, here's where we think about it a little bit. We want it to go all the way around, which is 360 degrees, right? So that would be 10 copies, but we already have one copy, so let's add nine copies. And let's duplicate special. And now we've got our coils inside of our motor. So duplicate special is really cool. You can start to use some very primitive objects and then just duplicating things can make uh, your other objects seem a lot more uh, complicated and a lot more, uh, like there's a lot more going on there than there really is. So once you've got your copper coils uh, in there, let's go ahead and start to create a base for our propeller. So we'll do that next.